Hi Libra, welcome to your New Moon in Virgo reading for September 15, 2023. New moons bring in new cycles. This is supposed to be a very positive new moon. We need it. Set your intentions. There's good energy behind it. Um, the direction this reading is going in is travel, five and events. So you may be traveling for an event. Um, you can be doing a lot of running around or traveling during the next two periods. Maybe even if it's just local, but you have to, uh, you know, actually move a lot. Uh, you may be planning a travel. Um, you can be just traveling on an internal level. Um, right? Uh, daydreaming about traveling. Travel seems to have a thing here. Five is some instability though, so maybe um, because there are different changes and uh, things happening around you that you may have to uh, travel quite a bit during this period. Um, but travel seems to be a theme for you. And that's the direction this reading is going. But for you personally, um, your energy and your focus will be the star. So it can be travel for the future, very possibly. Um, it can be daydreaming, absolutely, with the star card. It's a hopeful card. Uh, it says a wish card, accomplishment, success, healing, and recovery. For me, uh, it very much means that things can be um, for uh, the future, very future-oriented uh, energy. It's also information as it's... Um, uh, dealing with the, it's it's a, associated with the sign Aquarius, and that is the information uh, sign. Um, <clears throat> you may have to travel to get information, or, you know, information is traveling towards you, it's that kind of energy, but it's hopeful with the star card, and uh, what is available to you is also available to others, or what is available to others is also available to you. Uh, energetically. There is a bit of a vulnerable um, energy that comes along with the star card. We could feel vulnerable um, maybe in <laughs> new places that we're traveling to that we've never been to. You know, we don't speak the language or, you know, we can't read the signs, that kind of energy. But it's still a very good card and um, somehow travel is involved. Um, okay. Uh, things are under a lucky star, and you're being guided to where you need to go. That's the star card for me. Okay, let's see what's coming in for you. You have the seven of pentacles. So um, you could be reevaluating situations. Um, this is a very reflective card, looking back on what we've accomplished up until now and where we may want to take it in the future, what we may want to edit uh, you know, add on, take off, move around, that kind of energy. Um, we can be thinking outside of the box because it's the frequency of seven. So we might be trying to find some solutions to a situation and uh, kind of evaluating what we would do uh, to, you know, what situ what, what, um, what can help the situation. It really does have kind of a daydreamy kind of quality to the seven of pentacles. <clears throat> what if, what if I planted potatoes instead of corn next time? It's that kind of energy. Very nice. Focus. A focus, mastery, skill with the magician. It's your concept. It's your vision. So we are reassessing our vision here. Nice. I like that. And um, we can put a lot of energy and power. This is solar power. So it's that male outgoing yang energy. Um, and it's, uh, it's like commanding, right? It's commanding something. I am this. I will do this. It's that kind of energy. It's very nice. Every decision that you make, however, should be um, uh, weighed against your initial concept or your initial vision. And that will help you to make good uh, decision making, right? So make sure you know what that vision is. And that's what he's doing here. He's reevaluating what's happened prior so that his new vision can be better, stronger, happier, etc. Wow, you have the star card again. So you are hopeful. You are looking towards the future. This is a very nice card. There is hope for the future. Um, again, this kind of vulnerability um, energy, but still um, having the feeling that we're being led to somewhere, to something 
um, brighter, happier, future-oriented. Very nice. Very, very nice, Libra. Ace of Swords, clarity. This is my yes card. It's taking good, positive, informed action, right? Because it's clarity here. We see things now. We understand it. That is the information that comes in from through Aquarius, right? Oh, I've got all the information now. Now I understand it. Now I can build that computer. It's that kind of energy, right? Um, because Aquarius is very technologically uh, or, or technologically, yeah, oriented. Um, but also, I do feel like you are being, because this little guy is coming out to me, right? The little Ibis back there. I do feel like you're being divinely guided. It's almost like you, uh, like things kind of fall into place to where you need to be, especially with that travel card. You might be deciding where you want to go. And the idea here is, well, what do I want to do when I'm there and where are the best places to go uh, to have that experience? But you have a yes with that Ace of Swords. It's truth. It's Excalibur. It is honesty. It's clarity. It's a really great card. I, One of my favorites. All right, so... Into every life a little rain must fall. You had such a stellar reading up until the devil. So the devil can be your um, codependencies, whether that be with people or substance or a way of thinking, right? It is, but the devil shows you the full hand. You know what needs to be let go. There's no if, ands, or buts. It's clear. We have clarity here. We know what needs to be let go. And so if we do not, it's only ourselves that we have to blame, not the devil. Mm. Well, I don't particularly think that's a bad combination, to be honest with you. Um, these are the things that are holding us back, and this is the force that sets us free. <laughs> Now, the problem with that is that it comes as a bit of a shock or unexpectedly, and you may not think it's the proper way for it to happen, but there it is. But it has freed us, right? You can have be having some epiphanies of the things that are, are not going right in your situation in the world at large. It doesn't matter um, because they will affect you. The tower is that whatever has not been built on solid ground will fall. And that's a good thing because we have the opportunity then to rebuild on much more solid ground, right? On the ideal and the concept that we see clearly now, that of, of the truth of what we want, of the situation. Information, I'm really getting information coming in here for you. Like that really brings you clarity and you see things now for what they truly are. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Nice, the Eight of Wands is communication. It's things moving swiftly. Um, it is, now this is a perfect pair. Goodness, Libra. Um, perfect pair because this is your intention, right? This is a manifestation card. And this is the Law of Attraction card. What you think about, you bring about. That's exactly what he's doing here. He's drawing down uh, his ideas and his uh, concept and making it a reality onto the earth, and uh, on the earthly plane. And this is the energy, right? The eight, the force that pushes it, that just focuses in one direction and everything heads there. Mind your thoughts. Mind your thoughts because they will happen. Uh, again, communications, but things moving swiftly. Hmm, wow. Excellent. <laughs> a new passion. This really is a new beginning. Uh, new passions. Uh, a new 
inner spark, right? Uh, the things that motivate us. This is ego-driven, but it doesn't have to be overly ego. It doesn't have to be the devil. It can be nice and 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 um, um, fact-driven is what I want to say here. It's informed, but it is a new beginning. It's a new passion, and it's under a lucky star. Fantastic. Really fantastic. You're being released from what was uh, holding you back. Okay. So the idea with this card is to see what is still standing after your tower moment, after the things that have fallen. What you should not do is focus on the what is spilt, what is what went wrong or what fell. Pivot, turn around and see, even though it's, you know, two out of five, right? Even though it's lesser than what has fallen, it's still there for you. And that's what you can rebuild upon, right? What is still good? What is still whole? Very nice, I think. So do try not to remain in this energy but look to all the positives and look to what is still good in your situation because this is a whole new beginning here. This is good. What you're doing and what you're creating is fantastic. What you're hoping for is, is great. Let it fall. It was not serving you. All right, so this is maybe the third or the fourth time that this card has come out as spiritual guidance and you have the two of wands. So progression... 100% here. All of this is progression. Uh, discovery, absolutely, with the Ace of Swords. Uh, clarity, right? We've discovered something. Um, and also here with this kind of looking back on, on situations. Um, indecision, do I see that here anywhere? Not really, you're pretty decisive. Um, holding back, again, the devil, uh, planning, 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 planning here. We're planning. Okay, so for me, the Two of Wands is very much like um, uh, if the Ace of Wands, which you have here, is this new passion, right? Wow, I've just found out about this wonderful thing, and now what do I do with it, right? This is a new passion that we've discovered, and this is the next step, the Two of Wands. It's always decision. Two is duality. Is it this or is it that? Um, I just grew some kale. Can I make a smoothie or a salad? <laughs> it's that kind of energy. Obviously bigger here. But still, it's that kind of scenario. Um, there can be uh, progress or you can hesitate. You may hesitate, but something might come along to, um, to stop that. Um, again, the main thing here in this last um, column, keep your attention on what is good. Okay? All right. I hope this has been helpful. I will return in two weeks with a full moon reading. Again, very, very positive new moon. Thanks for listening. If it's been helpful, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, it's very much appreciated and it really helps. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye.